The bill, introduced by Mental Health Minister Janice Morley Lecomte, would create safeguards and standards of care for supervised consumption sites. Critics and one organization already offering overdose prevention feel it would only create barriers. The head of Sunshine House, Levi Foy, says the group wasn't consulted. It runs a mobile overdose prevention site out of an RV. The site has had around 4,600 visits since opening last November with approval from the federal government. Morley Lecomte says the government did seek input on the bill. I'm not quite sure if individuals with lived experience, individuals who work through addiction service organizations, clinical experts, shared health, regional health are not considered experts, but they were all part of the panel who helped make the standard. A private member's bill in the Manitoba Legislature to make Orange Shirt Day a provincial statutory holiday passed second reading, but that doesn't mean anything will change here in Manitoba. This should be something that we want to proceed and move forward in reconciliation for all of us. The bill, which was introduced by NDP MLA Ian Bushy, would still have to pass third reading and be given royal assent. Government House Leader Kelvin Gertzen says supporting the bill during second reading shows the government supports the idea in principle, but the details still need to be debated. That there needs to be significant recognition and we've undertaken that. The method and the mode of that recognition is still obviously um, you know, being discussed by uh, people not just in this building but outside of this building as well. Gertzen acknowledged the government is working on a bill of its own, but wouldn't say when it will be introduced. Earlier in the day, seniors and long-term care minister Scott Johnston announced new money aimed at helping seniors age in their communities. Six programs are getting a share of nearly $4.5 million. The government is chipping in $25,000 to support three additional age-friendly hubs across the province. There's also money to start exploring the concept of dementia-friendly communities. The support services to seniors program is getting the bulk of the money, with an additional $2.9 million annually being added to help seniors live independently. Providing supports to seniors as they age in the community is an investment towards prevention, keeping seniors out of hospitals and long-term care, and instead helping seniors be healthy, active, and connected to others. The government is also putting $600,000 towards emergency response information kits that contain information that can be placed on a fridge door. That way, first responders would have access to essential health care information in case of an emergency. Josh Crabb, CBC News, Winnipeg.